Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4. Old World Blues playing as Caesar's Legion. Caesar's Legion? No, uh, Kaiser's Legion. Thank you. We just finished taking on the Twin Mothers, which means we are going to be finished with uh, our four major conquests. I can go for the Conqueror of the 86. And then after that, I can decide if I want to continue by expanding into some of the Mexican region, which has a fair bit of stuff we could get. Pretty easy targets, I think. Or, crossing the Rubicon... Rubicon, sorry. And that'll lead into the war for the Hoover Dam. The problem is this has to be owned and controlled by the new California Republic. Which I can't do anything with for a while until they get their act together. So if we go for the Conqueror of the 86, then really what we're doing is just signing up for some more Mexican expansion. Which is not a bad idea. It's a perfectly fine thing to do. I'm just curious when, uh, curious when the new California Republic is going to do anything. And you can't continue with things like New Judea until the War for the Hoover Dam is finished. So that's a whole bunch of missions that are going to be waiting upon the uh, California Republic. Brotherhood of Steel can't do anything unless we are neighboring the Mojave chapter, which we are not. So yeah, um, we're just going to be able to expand a little bit more down in Mexico, and then we kind of focus a bit more on the economy and so on. Or start working toward a good general. That could lead to... See, that's interesting. One of our major generals has to become the country leader. And that could lead to a Legion Reborn. Foundries of Mars. Robots. I think he didn't like robots. Great war tank. Ooh. So wait, does this start like a power struggle? It might. Boulder City Salvage. There's a lot of things we could do down there. I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed a little bit that we're not getting more um, like flavor pop-ups here. I kind of want to learn more about the story of what's going on here. This is fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm actually really liking this mod pack so far, but it could use a little bit more. You know, True. use a little bit more fun. I want more Fallout. As somebody who's never played the games really, I want more Fallout. All right, let's get rid of all that stuff. Hi, boats. Tell you guys to hold. Tell you guys to hold you boats get down over into I don't know here wait I want I want to have these guys get together do I not own this yeah get over here guys I want to I want to join the fleet together because I think we might need it across the uh, rivers to the west at some point at some point. Can we cross over here? Totally can. Wouldn't mind killing the Navajo, but how do I do it? I don't want to wait 200 days. You know what I mean? <sighs> NCR, what are you up to? A mayoral victory speech. Some lady won something. Are you guys going to go and take over the Hoover Dam yet? Please. Please take on the Hoover Dam. I wouldn't mind fighting you. Ah, eh, whatever. Worst come to worst, I think we should go ahead and start training up some new troops. We actually have a pretty good amount of equipment to go to create a handful of um, Cult of Nas divisions. So a few more motorized is not going to hurt. Now, granted, they're only 10 combat width, so I do have to be careful because once we start increasing that, we might be uh, reducing their overall effectiveness rather substantially. But for now, for now it works. Pretty good amount of infantry equipment across the board here. Uh, I do think we want to take whatever wherever we have pawns and start upgrading them. You guys all need to train, because you're terrible. This pawn, and this pawn, and this pawn should all change templates and become proper legionaries. We have plenty of equipment available. What about you? No more pawns? Hey, no more pawns. Is there any reason I would ever use this division? I mean, yeah, it's got recon company, but it's otherwise really weak. Maybe I would use it as a militia division. Like, if I threw on some dog support just for suppressing. I won't necessarily delete it, but it's not important to me. Same with the tribal militia. Like, unless... Unless I am missing something with these guys, I don't think they're that good. We can modify the government again. Caesar's Hound, resource gain efficiency? No. We're going to finish Goddess Diana very soon, though. So let's hold off and get a new advisor to give me even more research time reduction, because those are going to stack up nicely. A minus 8% and a minus 5? Yeah, man. I'll take that. 
By Kaisar's will. By Kaisar's will. Let's get a good line over there. Pico's colony is another person that I'll get to kill eventually. There's a lot of tiny people. A lot of tiny little nations that I want to murder. The Hano Nation. I mean, heck, the more borders that uh, I can control... Actually, it kind of depends. Do I want to have few borders with the new California Republic and try to draw them across the river and kill them? Or do I want to have a lot of avenues to possibly flank them, but then I have a lot of places I need to defend? It kind of comes down to whoever has the most troops, doesn't it? If I have more troops than they do, I want to have as many entry points as possible. If they have more troops than me, then the bottleneck works to my advantage. So that's something we need to be careful about. Uh, we do have a good amount of command power. Um, I could add some extra traits. Offensive doctrine. Defensive doctrine. You've got a lot of entrenchment bonuses already. Another 30% could make it really good. We'll add on defensive doctrine to kind of stack some of those bonuses together. Uh, you can't have anything. You can't. Do we have another general yet? No. I could hire up a new commander. But I feel like we're going to get another one fairly soon anyway. So really, why bother? Uh, how are we doing with salvage operations? Okay, now we can start scavenging using vehicles. As long as they succeed, I'll get my stuff back. So do I want equipment, robots, or vehicles? I have really no use for robots yet, but we will eventually. I might have more use for vehicles. Well, not really. Let's try scavenging for robots because it's fun. And then sort of see what happens. I don't know. Could be awesome. Let's bump back up to speed five. Uh, okay, let's see. So those two will go. I don't have any more Cassus Belly, so if I want to start fabricating claims, we could justify doing things like that with, say, the Navajo Nation. Who have a reasonable number of factories, and I think I'm going to go ahead and start justifying a war goal. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to take 210 days to do it, but... Yeah. Let's just go ahead and start fabricating the claim. I have no idea how long I'm going to be waiting on the new California Republic to do anything. You know what I mean? So, depending on how that goes, I'd like to have some options. Smoke signals! How quaint. We still haven't gotten into any proper civilized technology, but we do have access, which means I, do con I am considered civilized, so that's good at least. Um, I don't need resource gain efficiency. That's still ahead of time. Could upgrade some boats. Still working on a Doctrine. Could go for Robots. Unlocks a free Division template. Could upgrade our Motorcycles. Since we are using them, let's go ahead and do that. There's a lot of things that I'm thinking I kind of want. What I have not seen, so far, is a National Focus that allows me to have extra research slots. Which I feel like is kind of important. Alright, Recovery Rate, Reconnaissance, Reinforce Rate. Yeah, it's good. But, I think I might go for other things. Namely... Oh, this is interesting. Basic firearms, basic ballistic... Basic slap... What are these mutually exclusive with, exactly? We have super mutant clubs. Crud is this? I don't even know what i do with that. I'm not sure what these are actually... ...exclusive with. Do I want melee or do I want firearms? Probably firearms? Would that stop me from getting powered weapons? Huh. It doesn't say it's, it's exclusive with basic firearms, which is why I'm confused, and I, it, but it feels like that's what they should be. Right? Um, laser muskets. Warrior equipment. Powered weapons. 
going to go for the basic firearms. Well, I have a lot more factories in melee, though. I'm going to try for this. Because that's what I have the most factories for. And we're going to find out, maybe the hard way, whether or not it is indeed... Aha! Yep, it's exclusive. So by going down the route with powered weapons and cowboy repeaters and the soft attack and advanced firearms, we're not going to be able to get laser muskets. But maybe that's fine, because it looks like this stuff mostly has, like, some piercing benefits. I kind of value soft attack a little bit more. Maybe I don't, though. Maybe if I'm fighting against the Brotherhood, I would wish I had a lot of piercing. Well, let's go ahead and get some scrap fighters, just in case. Because maybe I'd like to have some air support to make up for what I'm doing here. I don't know. What's better, soft attack or piercing? Goddess Diana is done. Which means I'm going to go for the Conqueror of the 86. And I'm going to hire... Broken Mother Selene. Did we break her spirit? I think we broke her spirit, guys. Oh, I almost feel bad, but not really. Conqueror of the 86. Extra experience. Now, I don't really need this. It's only seven days for 60 political power, though. Let's just go ahead and do it. Does it give me, like, a pop-up where I can go for the dam if uh, the New California Republic doesn't have it? Speaking of which, who are you fighting? Anyone? Wait. Pushing for the Colorado. Ooh, wait. They may actually be going for it right now. The Mojave Brotherhood. Those are the other people that I could be boarded with and have some fun, right? So they're doing some stuff. Huh. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. All right, well, let's see what comes out of that. Crossing the Rubicon is done. Can't do this. We'll go for Mexican expansion again. That gives me some extra political power in a very short amount of time. Uh, what's more important then? Conquering this stuff or being ready in case these guys attack? I don't think they're going to attack me. I think I'll have the time to figure it out. Wow, we actually used up our civilian factories. What do you know? Okay, let's go ahead and build up some bunkers. We can only get a couple. Along the river. Because I feel like that's the smart play. Make sure that we hold these. Right? Just because you never know what's going to happen. I'd like to play it a little safe. Have that ready to go. We actually have 16 factories to work with now, which is a slight improvement. There's Mexican expansion. All right. The ranchers? Uh, yes. Or do we go for the Twin Temples right now? For that many civilian workshops? Yeah. Alternatively, we just do... Uh, nah, let's go for the temples. A lost contact? No! It was a 25% chance of fail. Today we've had no contact from our scavenging party, a relatively normal occurrence, except today is the 10th day in a row we've had no contact. We have their last reported location, so we could send a search party to a uh, location and try to get them back, but this would take some time. Send out a search party. Chance of something happening, chance of getting some manpower back. I can't afford to lose base stability, so we'll try. I mean, I'm okay with losing command power. This stuff's practically worthless to me anyway. I've never really known what to do effectively with it. So, it's fine. Alright, new advisors. Um, resource gain or infrastructure construction speed. That could be good. I do like this stuff. Mobilization laws, economy costs. Oh, it changes these. Oh. So, it could save me a little bit of political power. I don't need army experience. I don't need encryption or decryption necessarily either. Infrastructure construction speed is interesting. Weapons and equipment time could be good. I also could really use a lot more motorized speed or research. What is artillery? Is that considered to be like the PRCs? Maybe. Tanks. See, I don't know what qualifies as armor. I feel like it has to be the power suits. Dog of War. Now this is interesting. You can't have one of the advisors in order to get some of these. So if we don't like having the political advisor Caesar's Hound, we could go for better breakthrough and soft attack with dogs. I kind of like the idea of going for the Pit Lord. Make my motorized better. Uh, the Burned Man, Triumph at the Dam. Close air supports. Don't need that yet. We could go for some aircraft investments. Reliability, agility is really good. I think I might go for the motorized, to be honest. 
We're going to do motorized, because I do think I'm going to invest heavily in that stuff. And there is a lot more research to do. Okay, the NCR declares war on the Rapids. The Rapids have been exiled. The NCR has made the foolish move in their attempt to control the riverbanks of the Colorado, evicting the once powerful Rapids, uh, Rapids tribes from their ancestral homelands. They have come to us in the thousands, bringing with them ships and supplies, eager warriors who now seek revenge against the NCR for taking their homelands. It is in their, uh, sorry, in time, their culture shall be broken. Their people shall become one with us. But until then, let us enjoy our new fleet. The Colorado shall be ours! We gain naval dockyards and manpower. The NCR declares war on the rapids. Okay. Cool. Thank you for the exiled rapids. Let's go send them over here to join. We'll get a bigger fleet. In fact, I got enough convoys at this point. I think we probably just stop making some convoys, or at least reduce it a lot. And instead start building proper ships. Now what's good? What the heck does a sailing ship do? What I don't know what compares to what is the thing. Is this like um, a destroyer? This will be like a... What is this like? No, no, no. I don't, I, I don't want to do that. I want to see what it's like. Can I see like some inf uh, information on it? Maybe. Hang on. Research. Naval. So a barge doesn't give me a description. I kind of would like that. Port capacity usage. Ooh. Okay, I don't see anything about like um. I don't see anything about it being like carriers. So they're considered siege ships. Okay. So I'm guessing that they're like. I'm guessing these are either, like, super heavy battleships or these are battleships. These will be, like, destroyers. These will be, like, frigates or something. Right? Upgrading some of these could be a good idea. Uh, we do still have landing barges and stuff. It occurs to me that, actually, you know, we could try to do uh, naval landings. That could be a thing. Let's try building out some barges few sailing ships, and maybe some outrigger canoes. And we're going to start producing a navy. I really don't know for sure how useful it is. But I know that I would like to find out. We'll also build a super heavy barge. It's going to take forever. Hello, unassigned divisions. Where'd you come from? Rapids exiled. Ah. Okay. I will send you to join with the Navajo. Eventually we'll kill these guys. So the Rapids indeed have been exiled and are their own thing. If I had a cast a spell to attack them right now, I totally would do so to just get some extra land, but uh, we do not have that option. I'm pretty sure that the uh, I'm pretty sure California's gonna have no trouble stomping them down. Alright, still working on the twin temples to get that research buff. Currently stacking up minus 14% research time. That should jump up to minus 22%, which is a pretty big deal for everything. Hmm. Uh, how are we doing on training? We're actually about to get a whole bunch of new motorized divisions. I'm only going to do this once, because what I might want to start doing is upgrading my existing motorized to uh, 20 combat width. If we can support that with our equipment, which I think we can... All right, here come a bunch of the motorized. I think we only need a couple more. Nope, that was it. Just did eight. Never mind. Uh, let's have one infantry go and join up over here somewhere. Apparently... Oh, these guys are still training. Crap. Stop, stop, stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just realized you're all taking attrition and wasting a lot of my stuff. I have forgot that for a while. Well, on the plus side, they're all going to be regulars. All right, motorized are going to go over here. We're going to have a very fast army to fight on the Navajo. Navajo. <laughs> Yakuza territories. Declare war on pale folks. Oh my, that just sounds racist. Twin Temples is done. Good. We're going to start working on the ranchers. Take that on next. We are generating 1.17 political power per day, which is not terrible. Sheriff Carmine does help a little bit. Uh, we could invest in things to try and buff up my stability a little bit more. Expanding, uh, sorry, expelling the riffraff could help. 
I'm kind of okay with losing some civilian factories in order to get extra weekly stability. It doesn't cost me anything else. I'm gonna do that. Uh, and actually, we already have a whole bunch of extra civilian factories because of the, um, the uh, national focus we just finished. So that's perfectly fine. So we're building out all of these bunkers so that we will be able to fight this war. Which to me, just seems intelligent. I would like a new commander. Wow, he's terrible. Alright, enjoy. I'm gonna have you patrol over here. And just kind of watch the area for a little bit. I don't know how helpful it's gonna be, but just try. You guys are all going to be assigned to Caesar's Legion fleet, number one. That's the only fleet that I have, right? No, it's called Rapid Exiles. Where's my other fleet? Oh, there it is. Oops. Okay, never mind. Instead, I want you all to go to the Rapids. Rapids Exiles. They can lead the charge. Perfect. Let's have you get over here somewhere. Perfect. Just a canoe. Washington Brotherhood is expanding even further. Man, that's kind of cool looking. Look at you. They're part of the Northern League, the faction leader. Huh. The Broken Coast is the new expansion that was added in. Graven the Cruel. I don't know any of the story around that, but it sounds awesome. All right, how are we looking logistics-wise? We've got a pretty good amount of equipment across the board, so I think we go ahead and start training up some more legionaries. Like, 10. And... Tribal Militia. There's two of them. Why is it saying we don't have any? That's weird. It's because they gave me some rapid uh, exiles, but they're these guys instead. Which is very, very strange. This will be done in about 50 days. So we're not too far off of being able to kill them. So we'll probably end up fighting two wars at once here. When can I change my focus? Do I care about changing my focus to, like, limited exports and stuff? Not really. Export focus is working out fine for me. It's not like I'm having any problems with trade. If anything, we actually could probably trade more. All right. We need to stop uh, making bad motorcycles, make better motorcycles. So let's do that. Like so. Uh, 20 days from being able to get some better me melee weapons. Do we want plating add-ons? Yeah, extra speed and armor for all things is good. So we'll do that. We will be able to start manufacturing fighters pretty soon. Salvage fighter upgrade again. It's not far ahead of time. Before we start producing any, do we want to just go ahead and jump to the next one? Or do I want to focus on getting some better navies? Or do I want to start getting the robots? So many options. Companies. We could go for extra explosives. Uh, or slightly better trickle back. Or better armor. Organization. Breakthrough. Industry. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Brahmin milking, since it's only 0.06 away. And let's also go for the Picos colonists. Get that finished. I will declare my war against you. Attack the fools! Oh, they're... <laughs> folding instantly. It's not even a challenge. It's not even a challenge, yo. Get the capital. Are they dead? No. Slashing melee weapons. Let's upgrade from machetes to even better things. New technology. Powered weapons. Nah. I don't see the need for that right now. Encryption, decryption. Oh, let's go for the vacuum tubes for even more. Stacking uh, research benefits. Always good to think in the long term, I think. And since I don't feel immediately threatened by the uh, people's... Ref or the California, whatever. I don't feel like I absolutely have to focus on the short-term benefits of better military. Right now we're fine. More military factories. Uh, okay. Well, logistics-wise, we're doing pretty good on everything. So let's go ahead and start manufacturing some scrap fighters. I think. So that's a higher priority than the trained mongrels. If I can control the skies, that sounds like a huge advantage to me. I don't know if anyone else even has an Air Force at this stage. Maybe. 
Oh, good. Now we can go kill the Navajo. Hi, Navajo! Die! Go! With your super motorized divisions. Oh, wait. I never actually gave you a, an order. I'm sorry. Hang on. Um, here. Go. Kill. Tell you what. Be aggressive and take things if you see the opportunity with your motorized. Yes? Some of you guys are just sitting around. Frickin' go, yo! You don't have to wait around for me. I don't need to give you specific orders. Or maybe I do. I don't know. Certainly appears that way. All right, how are we doing in the war down here? Pretty good. About to grab the capital. Picos Colonists is going to be dead next. New national focus. Enslaving the colonists. I own former states of the Picos Colonies. Do I? I don't really know if I see the point of spending political power. What does this gain me? I don't know. Uh, so instead, let's go for the extra arms factories. True to Kaiser. Are you going or what? Be aggressive. Push against everything in sight. Take the capital. Oh, you idiot. Take the, pa take the capital. They're going to freaking surrender if you can just get a little bit more. True to Kaiser. Thank you. Oh, wait, that's the Navajo. Hi, Navajo. Conquer. Take all states. Done. Caesar's Legion grows again. All right, I'm going to let you guys go down here, and we'll start a new war in a little bit. Free dockyards. Uh, what do I want? I think we'll start working on some extra super heavy barges and stuff. That seems cool. Construction, what are we looking at? Let's focus on upgrading all of the military factories, please. Not even worried about the dockyards right now. Just this will do fine. And they're dead too. Perfect. Take all states and turn done. Okay. You guys, what do I do with you next? Uh, I don't know, kill the Great Cons or something so I can swing into New Vegas? Can I even get to them? I don't think I can. I don't think there's any crossings here. It's hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. Can't even see if I can get something across the Grand Canyon. It seems like there's really not a lot of avenues to get across the river. Unless we did a naval invasion. Dead horses? I mean, that could open up some options. Foragers? Got a few things. Mm. One second, guys. Someone's knocking at my door. Ah, uh, just the insurance company rejecting the claim for my wife's car after it got totaled, sort of figures. All right. Uh, these guys have a reasonable number of factories that I wouldn't mind stealing. Do we want to justify another war goal, or do I want to save the political power for something else? I think we'll just go ahead and just get the claim going. I mean... Again, I don't know how long it's going to take before we can continue a big war. Eventually, we're going to be at each other's throats. Which I'm looking forward to. Uh, okay, so let's see. What do I want to do with you? I'm going to go ahead and create um, a fallback line. Along here. And assign all of them there. That way, if we do go to war, maybe we want to do the same trick. Get them across... Ambush them, and then rush across the river? It's worked well so far, dang it. Alright, we can upgrade our government again. Um, I am going to go ahead and grab the Lord of the Pit. I might as well. Alright, so you guys are here. Let's do an offensive line. Uh, I guess we can just go ahead and declare the war now. Go ahead. Attack. Go! Uber duber easy. I don't want you guys to all be aggressive in the future, though. Like, let's not be stupid about what we do, all right? We're intelligent people. See, this, this is what I'm talking about. You're just charging in and getting yourself hurt. For really not much of a good reason. Let's see if we can get down to this capital. I know I'm spreading my line thin a little bit. No, don't let him go anywhere. Okay. Spread out a little bit, guys. Get that get that front line figured out. 
I can micromanage if you're going to make me, but I'd like you to just figure it out on your own. I can't hold your hand forever, guys. All right, we can enslave some more people. More workshops. Start working toward that general. Uh, what's this? More workshops. A lot of them. Production of water. Mm -hmm. Reorganize the ranches. They become cores. That could be good. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead and enslave. That seems reasonable. Equipment-wise, really we're missing out on, like, some dogs and stuff. I'm going to keep making fighters, I think. We really don't need much in the way of trained mongrels. Really what we need is just to repair the dang factories. If we can do that, we'll be fine. Well, don't destroy too many factories when you conquer these guys, okay? Hey, we have planes in reserves. What do you know? Also, a lot more infantry. I will assign... A few of you to here. True to Kaiser. Few of you actually. Kind of could use another front line down over here. True to Kaiser. And you'll all go down here. There we go. Something to protect. All right. True Motorize. Uh, actually, that's a bad idea. They'll just freaking cut me off. Looking for... These guys actually had a surprising number of troops. Like, I'm actually surprised, like, they're holding back. Brahmin milking. Alright. Do you need more water or resource extraction? At this stage, no. Uh, encryption and decryption's fine, but I think I'd like to go for some more navy. Let's actually go for the landing barges and just get that technology because, uh, you know, in the past I've discovered that, uh, good naval invasions can make a huge difference. Break a huge stalemate. Especially if I have the, um air support to back it up. By will. Let's go ahead and start punching through you. Plating add-ons are done. Good. So, scrap gun trucks. I'm guessing those are basically the equivalent of tanks. Which strikes me as good. We could go for even better cars. Motorized. Which, since we haven't made a lot of progress with the efficiency of uh, making the other motorcycles, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, you guys are all looking solid. We're kind of running a little thin here, though, guys. Your organization's not that great. Can you push against this? Mostly, but I don't really like what you're doing. Mm. Just keep reinforcing each other for a little bit. We're going to win, but I feel like we're taking some losses. Uh, it looks like we can already jump to the simple circuitry for even more research reductions. And again, since I don't see any evidence of extra research slot, that strikes me as more and more important. So I do want to get that. Uh, you're just straight up losing. Don't attack like an idiot. Enslave the ranchers. Good. Do I want the water right now, or do I want other things? Enslave these guys, too. More, uh, more cores. Well, we haven't finished this war yet, so that doesn't seem important. Monthly population growth seems good. But I'm going to continue with the initiative and stuff, knowing full well that maybe that's not the right choice. It's just kind of hard to tell what's good. Okay, that's a bad fight. Don't do it. Nope, nope, nope. I wish when I stopped attacking with the main army, they would stop reinforcing automatically, as if they just knew what I wanted. Like, to me, that'd be smart. Maybe too smart for this game. I don't know. All right, so we're going to push them out. I want you to go here. Thank you. And then I want you to reinforce over here. We do really need to start expanding my motorized divisions to 20 combat width. I think that would be a very smart thing to do. But I'm not going to do it until after this war because I do not want to reduce the uh, supply effectiveness of my troops by 50%. But we'll come back to that in the next video. Alright, so we're going to finish these guys off and then that's kind of it as far as expansion until some things happen. Let me know what you guys think I need to be doing in the comment section down below. I know I've just done a recording session and haven't had a chance to respond, but I will come back to that. This is so far really fun and interesting. I'm liking this mod pack a lot. I hope you guys are too. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell if you have not already, and I will see you guys next time.